Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a look at how you can test file uploads with LiveWire. Let's get started. We will create a file uploader component to write our upload functionality. And let's use the test flag to create a test at the same time. Let's head over to our test. Where is it? Over here. And let's add a test method. And let's call it, it can store about its files. We will use Laravel's storage facade fake method to do our assertion and to make sure our file is not actually written to the file system when we run our tests. If you don't fake the storage, you will keep getting unversioned files when you run your tests. So let's add that at the start. We are trying to create a successful file upload, so let's add an assertion for that and try to get it working. I will assert some file exists. And let's assert it lives in a file folder called images and it's called testimage.png. I highly recommend being explicit about which file system disk you are using for storage, both in the test and in the live R component. If you don't, things can get very confusing quickly in my experience. So to do so, we'll specify the disk here and also where we do our assertion. Let's now try to upload an image to our components. So we'll grab the components from the generated tests and we'll try to set a file on a property image. And to get the file, we'll use Laravel's uploaded file. The uploaded file is a Laravel class and has some convenience methods to fake files so we don't have to work with real files. So we can use fake and we can specify that it's an image and we can even give it some image name. And this uploaded file is also what LiveWire will give you if you wire model to an input which has a type of file. Let's run the test and see where we're at. We now have an error that tells us we have forgotten to add the with file uploads LiveWire trait. You will always need to add this trait if you're working with file uploads in LiveWire. So when you're wire modeling to an input, but also if you're uploading a file from JavaScript. This trait contains all the code to get files from the browser to temporary storage and provides you with the uploaded file object I mentioned earlier for you to do with as you please. Let's add the trait and also the image property we are trying to upload our file to. So we'll add the trait here at the top, use with file uploads and let's add our image property that we're trying to upload our file to. Let's rerun the tests. And we're now getting an error that our file cannot be found, which is good because we don't have any more errors about the upload itself. So let's try to get the actual upload working. We'll do so by calling a submit method, which we will create on our component. So let's head over to the components and create a submit method. In our submit method, we will use the store as convenience method to store our file where we want it with the name we want. To do so, we'll call image store as 
we'll put it in a folder called images and we'll give it a name let's call it test image and over here we will also be explicit about which disk we want to get our file on let's send over to the test so let's run our test see if it works and it does so now you know the basics of testing file uploads with LiveWire. That was all folks. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video.